Hello boys and girls. So in my arc of trying to learn to make shorter videos, this is another paper review. Actually, I'm not even going to do a review. This is more like a paper pointer. I will just talk for three minutes uh, about some paper I came across that might be worth reading. Um, this is called uh, Diffusion Geometry. I was surprised that apparently this name is not even occupied. It seems such an, you know, obvious way of combining two mathematical words. Um, but there's this guy who made um, uh, data analysis, ML, differential geometry, uh, stochastic processes, um, this corner of the mathematical world uh, uh, text. It's 50 pages with some applications. Um, and I link it below as well as the GitHub code that you might want to look at. It's by a guy called Jones uh, from just this month. He is also on uh, X if you want to ask him questions. Um, I, I will motivate this in a second. Um, you might want to be able to uh, handle differential geometry stuff, Riemann geometry stuff to uh, tackle this paper. Um, a core component is knowing that on a general Riemann manifold, you also can define things like uh, Laplace operators. So basically the square of the gradient operator. Um, there's many uh, different contexts in which you can define such an object. The geometric one where you have a metric G is one. And um, the diffusion operator is uh, closely related. This is also, you know, the differential equation for using the Laplacian. This describes some flowing apart in physics. And this is, of course, intimately tied to various topics in stochastics as well, right? So I'm here on the feynman kack formula page. So uh, if you have some background in this corner, the main uh, mathematical item um, I would say of importance here is this uh, operator in uh, stochastic process theory. So here you just talk about Markov operators. Um, I am interested in that um, because I'm, you know, at the moment also reading uh, books in this uh, direction. There will be some videos in the future coming back to this topic. Um, and the core uh, item that you have here is that you can define um, this gamma operator. And in this paper, the author basically looks at, uh, you might say, uh, a generalization of geometry by not using a metric G, but instead um, this operator. And then most of the paper consists in developing, I would say, an analogs of Riemann geometry, but not uh, with this uh, G matrix, but in this looser sense with the gamma. And then there's then some relation between uh, the uh, probability measure on the space and this gamma, which we can view as this uh, metric and Obviously, it's not full Riemann geometry, but some uh, variation of that uh, may be more general. And then the paper, uh, this first half is just giving examples and working out the differential geometry and all the, these analogs of, uh, of classical geometry that, you know, um, developed in this context. And then I scroll down more, then uh, it, it pivots to looking at data analysis scenarios. Um, there are some uh, cases where you sample and discover some manifold and, and here this is about uh, processes um, that uh, break away from that but then you still have some tools that make sense. Um, I um, uh, You have to look read the paper to, to really make sense of that but it sounded very interesting and it seems uh, co coherently written enough that you might want to take a look and I will keep it under five minutes. I know there was a lot of hand waving, but this is more or less just to point you some to some papers of interest. Um, and with that, um, I will uh, wish you a nice weekend. I wait till it's exactly five minutes. So then, bye.